long way to go. This tournament is far from over. Top three action now here at the Capcom Cup last chance qualifier. Some of the best competition in the world here that you guys are getting to see on display. Yeah, and your reward for winning this tournament is being put in an even harder tournament tomorrow. Potentially the hardest Street Fighter bracket this year. Yeah, and you get to play Punk first. <laughs> Who's in the front row? Yay! Congratulations! Punk's you get chilling, Punk. he's chilling yeah. in the front row, watching, studying. He doesn't know who he's gonna play yet, but now he has to pay attention. I see what Capcom did. They're like, "You think you're gonna leave? You're gonna be at home sleep? Nah, bruh. You're gonna watch the whole tournament because you don't know who you gonna play." Exactly. Nemo wanted to, you know, come here. Nemo wanted to come here and win this so that he could play Punk first round. Dang. He was like, "I want to win this LCQ so I can play Punk." What if he said that, Punk? What if he was like, "Yo, I'm just, I only want to play Punk again." That's all that's, he sick. does. He just <laughs> wants to beat him. That's all there is to it. Nemo's like, he had a grand strategy all year. He read the rules before all of us. He's like, look, I'm going to not enter any CPT events. I'm going to win that LCQ. Boom. Take out Punk first round, and then I'm chilling. I got his path to top eight. No worries. Dang. These guys are getting set up right now. Brian F. Infiltration sitting on the stage. Yeah, you're right, man. Um, infiltration definitely came out of nowhere. Uh, Killing it, man. And <laughs> Manon, he found a, the, the key to a lot of fighting games, or any game really, is finding something that clicks with you, mm -hmm. right? Finding a character that clicks with you, and Minot clearly clicks with Infiltration. It's a character and player match that just works so well, and that's important with anybody, right? Finding a character that just gels with you, your style, the way you like to play, a character you love to play. Yeah. It just works. It's night and day, right? You can be going 0-2 and suddenly just be killing it if you just have the right character mm -hmm. at the right time. And that is a huge part of it. Finding that character to fit your play style. A lot of people don't know what their play style is in fighting games. I can tell you right now, it took right. me a long time to figure it out. But it's a major component in selecting a character and doing really well in tournaments. Especially a yeah. tournament like this. Fight. Early jump back. He wants that space. That dash punch is going to be a problem. Because if she sends out an orb and he dash punches to get in, it's going to be a lot harder for her to get it back. Okay, there's the throw. There he is, closes that gap. There he tries to go for a tap, and at the ready, Infiltration just calls back and sticks a button in there at the same time. Trying to close that distance, but the corner is in Brian F's favor. Cost him a lot of life, though. You see Brian F, he has to respect that orb recall, so he's not dash punching anymore. He's just staying in that range. That's exactly what Infiltration's looking for. And the throw, oh. yeah. The antsiness will get you killed against Minot a lot of times, right? Sometimes it finds you hits, but almost rarely. Yeah. This range that Infiltration just backdashes to each time is like, he, he knows. There's that jump back. Brian F moving in. And when the orb has to come from farther away, there's more time for Infiltration to walk up after. Because you don't know when he's going to call back. Man, Infiltration on so much offense. Brian oh, F, finally counter. a crush counter. Nice little shimmy there. Not able to find a hit. Infiltration just holding. Oh, what a back dash. Crush counter. Hard punch coming from Manette. Still fighting out of that corner. Infiltration has the life lead. Oh, bait of the throw. He didn't believe in it, though. Trade on that. And there's the activation. Full CA for Infiltration. Big comebacks. Yep. We're like, yo, you have to Do be able to do that. Win. That's important to the character. Yeah, absolutely pivotal. So now if you're Brian F, you gotta sit here and figure out a new strategy because clearly the one he was is leading with was not effective, right? He's gotta find another way to navigate through that situation where Manon has Orb out behind you, right? What do you do in that scenario? Right here, this is the scenario. Taps in and there it is. Just come into it a little too early. Yeah. Keep that ground, block it, stand at dash punch range. See Infiltration with the pickup. Ooh. Again, so good at fighting between his opponent and the orb. He's so aware of all the options. Dash up again. Defense is looking really good, but still down more than half life at this point. Yeah, getting picked apart. The read on the jump. Didn't have anything on deck for the V skill, the V reversal. Oh, he tried to throw it. Oh, gets the jump in. Didn't believe in it again, and this is going to give Infiltration a chance to fight out of that corner. Yes, he has to wait for that. Okay, whip punish from Brian F. No combo. That was his opportunity and the clean crouching fears. Infiltration looking in form here. Yeah, he is looking too sharp right now. Not really giving Brian F 
any chance to like get this opening and get this offense started. Found a few hits, but not able to close out. Oh, the huge jump in. This is big for Brian. Yeah, and if you hit her while that orb is recalling, you'll be okay. All right. Again, a lot of resources for infiltration. We'll see a like you said before. Yeah, he went for the reset this time, takes the throw. Now he's getting dangerously close to kill range. Brian getting tagged by that orb. He's got V-Trigger available. Ooh, tries the dash punch oh, to get in. It. This is huge for Brian F. Activation. Infiltration has to guess right here on a couple of mix-ups. Ooh. Just waiting. Doesn't have much trigger left. V-Reversal's out of the corner. He's got space to move. The jump back heavy kick. Brian's in pursuit, and now he has to worry about the orb. No V-Trigger left. The second set. Not looking too good. Nice back dash. Full CA still on the table. Oh. Finds the crush counter. One guess left for infiltration. And this is when you need those nerves. You don't want to overcommit. He's got full CA on deck. Built a little space for himself. Brian F, what a reaction with that standing like it. And he just walked into that range and did that. Checked on that dash. Can't let her get away with it. And infiltration, he likes to move, right? And if you can shut down the movement, that's a big part of his game. Standing hard punch coming from the net. Tap out of range, a little stuff from infiltration. And look at this corner already in favor right now of Brian F, but we've seen infiltration fight his way so well in this corner. Jump heavy kick again, finds the hit, confirm reset. Yeah, low that time. Infiltration gets out though. Oh wow. Double throw whip. Full CA available for Manette. Fighting out of the corner still. Line F walking up into that range. V skills through, but infiltration still prepared. Yeah, that orb recall has caught him every time. He's gone for tab, dash punch, V skill. Overhead. Brian F was ready. He's got his work cut out for him. Reset. Look for the throw, didn't find it. Activates it. Infiltration, he's got the bar again. Right for the CA this time. Didn't wait for anything else, just went for it. Not even gonna try the combo, just wants to try to close it out. Not enough, two orbs. Overhead, what a block! Yo, Brian F. Oh, finds the counter hit and the confirm a double reset! Yo, Brian F, the patience! Do you see the look on that Look, look how big face. his eyes are. That boy is playing some Street Fighter. It's like you thought it was over. That CA didn't kill me. Back from the dead. He's like, all right. Yo, that was a pretty good game. Thumbs up from Infiltration. He's like, all right. All right, okay. you got me. You're pretty good, kid. <laughs> You're pretty good, kid. Yeah, tough. You know, even though Brian F brought that back, it was not a long-term win. It was a huge comeback. Oh, no, man. He needs much more than that. The, the war is far set. from over. That was, that was a battle, bro. Yeah, just a battle. Infiltration with the low. But you can definitely see what he took away from that last game. Definitely, you, you can see how it has changed and affected both Infiltration and Brian F. Look at the ranges that are being played this time around. Look at how much more active that Infiltration is being, especially in the mid-range. Finds that hit, back throw, reset, and now he knows he does not want to give Balrog, or even Brian F especially, a chance to come back. No dash punch connects that time. Yo, he is searching. Ugh. Finds the hit with that overhead, push to the corner, and Orb is a long way away. Here he goes. It came all the way back. Infiltration, V-Trigger now. Brian F has got to deal with it. Yep, the second Orb connected, and the jump fears. Infiltration with the round. But I do, I do like some of the things that Brian F is looking for here. I like that there's more V-Skill punch, too, because Manat doesn't have huge punishes for stuff like that, generally. That's basically, you have to be careful, because if that Orb is out, we've seen him... Uh, put buttons there just to make sure it's blocked and then hitting a button to punish that beast kill. Yeah, as long as Mana is holding the orb, you can take a little bit more risk against him. Oh, neutral jumping the overhead when he landed. I like the check. Gotcha. Maybe kick overhead block. Back throw again from infiltration. Uh-oh. Caught him. Block. Overhead this time, didn't get the cancel into the orb recall, but Brian F's in huge trouble right into the critical art again. Two to one, infiltration. She gets so much meter. She builds a th I mean, she throws like a hundred orbs yeah. around, Steve. It's like a thousand special moves around, she does.
May not win. Yo, is that a stat? Uh-oh. That's Sir a retro, retro stat? Sir Retro, I'm gonna need to know, bro. Man, we get some utility out of this Sir Retro guy. Yeah, he must be tapping away. I wonder if he just stares at the screen. He must. <laughs> I mean, if he's doing stats, he's got to be. Goes low that time. Backdash from Brian. He doesn't want to deal with the pressure behind that orb. Tapped. Wow, check with that three frame from that. And once again, using that walk speed to get under characters in a lot of situations that we don't normally see. Yeah, you see that V-scale punch from Brian? Only punished with a jab into a orb toss from Manon. That's not a lot of damage. All right, Chase now. Brian F moving in now. Oh, back throw again for infiltration. He's going to get the back, the entire stage to walk backwards after this activation. Oh, V reversal doesn't want to deal with that overhead low situation. And throws out of it again. Infiltration on offense here in the corner. This is the worst place to be. Good block. No punish. Out of the air. He can juggle with EX. And look at this corner switch. Like yeah. a real boxer. From corner to corner. Coast to coast. The V reversal out of there. Brian didn't hit a button. And infiltration on full CA. Room to work with. The life lead. And you got to be careful blocking now because now you're in chip damage from the CA. Not to count out Brian F just yet. Sets the ore about 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, wow. You going to turtle it down? I mean, what is the plan from Brian F here? Yeah. The long man's game is going to be really tough. Looking for the callback tap again and calls back the orb. And that's the problem. Stuff like that. Balrog wants to lead with tap. He wants to lead with V-Skill. He wants to do dash punch. But when the orb is coming back, as long as she blocks, it's always going to lose. And it's very rare that moves like that from, you know, Balrog wins with those moves. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Bad call on that Crouch Furious gets clipped by the Crouch uh, Medium Kick. Oh, another crush counter. And, and Brian F is moving. He's, he's moving a little too fast here, close to stun. Getting really impatient, you can tell. And this is a very annoying match to play, especially versus a character like Manette. Oh, got him again. This is it. Last opportunity for Brian F. Overhead will close it out, and infiltration sends Brian F home in third place. But once again, what a showing from Brian F, ladies and gentlemen. This guy has had an amazing. Uh, Capcom Cup season so far. I mean, Jesus. he was super close to qualifying for the CPT Top 32 manually, right? He was yep. in that kind of range for points. He was in the NA Regional Finals. He was at the LCQ here. Every opportunity exhausted finally, but what a year it's been for Brian F. He's definitely putting the legwork, and by that, I mean he's traveled to many a tournament throughout the year yeah. to try and secure those points, secure that spot to go on, but once again, man, you came up against the best in the world. That's not, I mean, don't get me wrong, you lost, but that is a match you have to look at and say, what can I take from it and apply? And a new man, Infiltration, just shows up with a character that, you know, many people have not played against Infiltration, but not before. He just shows up. He is ready and prepared. The other person he lost to, Nemo, probably, I think, most people's favorite to mm -hmm. make it out of the LCQ. And that's what our grand finals is, Nemo versus Infiltration. Crazy match. These two played again at the very start of our top eight, right? The first match that you and I got to watch up here. And uh, now it's going to be our grand finals, a rerun of before. All right, guys. Grand finals is about to get underway. Character selection in progress. Man, man, like you said, dude, we've seen some crazy matches here on out. And one of the first matches we saw was this very one. But this time, infiltration going 